Hello, Janae, can you hear me? Yeah, all good. Perfect. Um, we touched on it in our interview yesterday, but I just wanted to follow up. Uh, working with uh, Bose and Disney, first off, you know, I think the big one, helping to promote the remake of Mulan, just how did that partnership and how did they reach out to you for that one? Yeah, it's crazy. They just reached out to me over Instagram, um, just slid into my DMs. And I guess it was something that, of course, like I wanted to do straight away. It was their marketing team um, that they'd partnered up with. And then um, we just looked over the deliverables and I was like, for sure, like either way, I would love to to get on board with this. I gave them my fee and, and there we go. Like it's just some of the kind of new options, I guess, especially with this new world, we need to um, collaborate more on social media and get that kind of virtual connection a little bit more, especially consistent considering the retelling was all premiered on Disney Plus instead of uh, as the original plan was to be in cinemas. So, so yeah, it was really good for me. Do you think that Kat Zingano will fight Chris Cyborg next? And how do you see that fight going? Yeah, I mean, I think possibly it, it's um, one of those divisions where it's kind of hard to see a clear number one contender, um, but that would be a fantastic matchup and a fantastic fight. Um, I think it would be a close one. I mean, I really enjoyed Kat Zingano's last performance. Um, she showed a lot of maturity and a lot of experience. So for that reason, I mean, she could change it up and, and possibly get the win over someone like Chris.